today we're going to focus on how Tai Chi helps you improve your overall health, helps you be as healthy as you can be. So we know that this is going to come from the applying the underlying principles, but I want to just do some movement first and talk about it as we move and let you experience it. So find a place where you have a little bit of room to move and just participate with me. So feet about shoulder width apart, let your knees be soft, Wiggle your toes just a little bit. Feel as if you're suspended from the crown of your head and your body can just be relaxed. Let's do preparation. So breathing in as you come up, breathing out as you go down. Let your joints, let your body be nice and rounded, even just in this up and down kind of motion. Feel your arms opening up. Feel your joints opening up. Breathing in nice and long and slow and deep. Breathing out. And now I want you to visualize as you're breathing, visualize that oxygen flowing to every single cell in your body. Good. Now let's do wave hands like clouds, but go to the right. And again, think about that roundedness as you're doing your wave hands like clouds. And think how that opens up all, the, all your body, all your joints, so that there's not anything blocked off which in your visualization, then you can feel everything is open and that oxygen can flow. Now holding the ball to the right, let's go back this way with part the wild horse's mane. Feeling that weight shift, feel yourself as balanced as possible as you're moving. Balanced and relaxed. Breathing in as you gather that energy, then breathing out as you release. Keeping yourself rounded and open. Just let this movement flow. And we're gonna flow right into Repulse the Monkey now. Thinking about keeping our columns intact, keeping our shoulders in harmony with our hips, feeling that weight shift so that it's easy to step backwards. <clears throat> now we're holding the ball to the right and we're gonna go back the same direction with Fair Lady Works the Shuttles. Breathing in, breathing out, keeping our arms rounded. Even though we're reaching up, we're not extending, we're not straightening our arms, we're not letting our shoulders come up, keep those shoulders down. One more. Good, then turning, let's do pushing chi. Again, focusing on that breathing, breathing in as you come towards your body, breathing out. Feel yourself rooted and grounded. Let that breath flow. Let it flow all the way to your toes, all the way to your fingertips. Now bring that right foot back, pushing chi with the left foot forward.
Remember, you're not straightening any of your joints. Don't push so hard that your arms are locked. Keeping those shoulders down. Keeping the movement flowing like water. Now bring your weight back, holding the ball to the right. Let's do ward off. Grasp the bird's tail. Roll back. Rotate and press. Pushing chi. Bringing your weight over to the right, back to the left. Think about letting the Dantian lead this motion, keeping you within your columns. Let's do ward off again. Let's focus on the breathing, breathing in. Then breathing out as you ward off and grasp the bird's tail. Breathe in as you roll back. Breathing out as you rotate and press. Breathing in, coming towards your body and breathing out as you push away. And just feel the flow of that ward off, how the movements just roll one into another. Pushing chi. And now let's go back to our wave hands like clouds, going to the right. Feel that rotation, how it pulls that Dantian over your base of support, keeping you balanced letting you feel your substantial and insubstantial changes. One more step to the right. Good, then step to the left, wave hands like clouds. One more step. Good, leave your feet about shoulder width apart and let's do heaven and earth. Take a nice deep breath in, extend up, looking left, hinge, turning those palms forward, bringing it up and bringing it down. Focus on your breath, breathing in as you go up, breathing out as you open up and hinge. Breathing in as you come up and breathing out and let your body just relax. So that's part of how Tai Chi helps you be as healthy as you can be because it is very calming, because it does encourage movement with deep breathing, allowing that oxygen to fully saturate your cells. That in addition, it helps you get into that parasympathetic side, which as we discussed in the stress relief episode, that parasympathetic, parasympathetic side is your rest and digest. It's where your body can actually heal. If you're always stressed in that sympathetic side, your immune system is actually suppressed because it can't be working on something else. It's gotta be fighting or fleeing. When you're in your parasympathetic side, your body, your immune system can start to function the way it's supposed to and your body can heal. Now, I'm not suggesting that Tai Chi is a replacement for seeking medical advice. It's not a replacement if you need some kind of treatment or some kind of medication. Tai Chi is not that um, be all and end all, but it is a support to you being as healthy as you can be. As you do your Tai Chi, you can become an active participant in defending your health. And that's where that side of uh, the underlying principle of the martial arts application, it helps you become a fighter. 
Remember, Tai Chi is a system that teaches you how to address an opponent. And you become an active fighter in defending your health. It's, think about a fighter where that person in the fight has to be balanced, has to be rooted and grounded. We, we practice that in Tai Chi. That fighter has to be relaxed because if they're all tense, they're using up their energy for the tenseness and not for the fight. They have to be actively thinking and actively looking at different strategies to win that fight. So all of these things that we've been talking about, reasons to do Tai Chi, it's all rolling into Tai Chi helping you be as healthy as you can be. So now as we just did that movement and I talked about feeling that continuous flow and the breathing and feeling the ground, feeling your substantial and insubstantial, keeping your shoulders in harmony with your hips, all of those underlying principles come into play with this idea of the continuous movement, the flow, which helps your body get into that parasympathetic side. But now let's take a minute and, well, more than a minute, let's do another flow of movements. And I want you to think about being a fighter. Now you're still going to be relaxed. You're still going to remember a fighter has to be relaxed, has to control his breath, but you are an active participant defending your health as you think about the martial arts applications of these different movements. So we'll start with preparation again, breathing in, letting your body be relaxed. Remember that roundedness is important. Bringing oxygen to all the cells in your body. You have to be open and loose. There's no tight angles. There's no blockage. Now think about it. as you break your opponent's grip on you with preparation and then you control your opponent. One more. Now holding that ball, I want you to come out with brush knee. Remember you're blocking something low and hitting something at the same time. Bring it back, do brush knee on the other side. We're gonna go back and forth with brush knee. Now think about how you have to remain balanced and stable, rooted and grounded, moving from the Dantian so that you stay balanced against your opponent. One more brush knee. But then we're going to do brush knee pushing chi. So brush knee left. And then think about pushing your opponent away. Again, you have to be rooted and grounded. You have to be stable. You're controlling your breath and using your breath to accomplish that push away. Brush knee, pushing chi. Brush knee, pushing chi. Let's do that brush knee, pushing chi again, but now we're going to add kick, smash, and box the ears at the end. So bring your weight to the right, kick, smash, and box. Think about how you have to do, you have to understand where your weight is, Understanding your substantial and insubstantial. Kick, smash, and box the ears now. Now brush knee, pushing chi. Kick, smash, and box the ears. Think about kicking your opponent, bringing their shoulders and head into your knee, and then 
finishing them off. Let's do brush knee, pushing chi, kick smash and box the ears one more time. Kick smash and box the ears. Good, now let's just do kick smash and box the ears. And finish with pushing chi. And do it on the other side. Kick smash and box the ears. Pushing chi. Good, let's do that one more time on each side. Remember, breathing, keeping yourself balanced, keeping yourself relaxed against your opponent. And now let's just do pushing chi. Breathing in as you come towards your body, breathing out as you push away. Bringing that left foot back, pushing chi on the other side. Focus on your breathing. Visualize that you're a fighter and a successful fighter. Now bringing that foot back, breathing in, pushing the mountains, push, Breathing in as you gather, and then breathing out as you let the energy settle. Breathing in, pull that energy all the way up, pushing the mountains. Breathing in as you gather, breathing out as you let it settle. One more. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. So even the martial arts application as one of the underlying principles of Tai Chi can help you be as healthy as you can be because you can visualize and you can actively think about I am doing something to be healthy by doing my Tai Chi. I'm helping my body open up. I'm helping my body relax and move while I can breathe deeply. I don't have to be all tense and sweaty every time I exercise. It can be a soft, gentle exercise, which is actually very healthy for you. So now... Mm -hmm.